Good afternoon, friends. Uh, today we will start with biodiversity hotspot in uh, India. Uh, in India, there are many. Uh, there are generally there are two biodiversity hotspots among the 25 identified global hotspots. These were the Himalayan region uh, and Eastern Himalayas and the Western Ghat region. But uh, the new included 36 global regions of the biodiversity hotspots. Uh, two other hotspots have been included in the Indian region. So we'll uh, see step by step uh, which are the uh, hotspots in India. Here you can see uh, this is the part of the Himalaya from Kashmir, it comes to this part, Nepal and all, it is also uh, included in this region, to the northeastern states like Manipur, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Mizoram, the hilly areas of the uh, West Bengal, like Sikkim and all, these are included in this region. So this uh, Himalayan region that includes the entire Himalayan uh, region, it also includes the uh, other countries like Tibet, Nepal, Bhutan, China, Myanmar, and Pakistan also. Here the Himalayan hotspot is uh, home, <clears throat> it is the world's, uh, it is home to the world's highest mountains that include Mount Everest. The result of the, the there is an ecosystem diversity in this region, it is available grassland, subtropical uh, broadleaf forest to alpine meadows uh, above the uh, there above the sea level to a very higher altitude. Vascular plants have even have been recorded more than six thousand meters. The hotspot is a home for important population of numerous large birds, mammals uh, like uh, tiger, elephants, rhinos. And water buffalo also. This uh, Himalayan hotspot uh, it is extended about uh, seven lakh forty one thousand square kilometers. Endemic plant species are more than three thousand one hundred and sixty. Endemic birds are eight. Uh, mammals are four. Extinct species are zero. Uh, estimated area that is protected is uh, 1,12,578 square kilometers. The actual, uh, the Himalayan hotspot, uh, it extends more, more than 3,000 square kilometers. That is from uh, Pakistan, Nepal, Bhutan, and the northwestern and the northeastern states of India. The, uh, the Himalayan hotspot includes the world's uh, mountain peaks, the, the, there is an immense range of uh, mountain ranges that uh, covers nearly uh, 7,50,000 square kilometers that has been divided in two uh, parts that is Eastern Himalayas, which cover this part of Nepal, Bhutan, the Northeastern states of Western Bengal, Sikkim, uh, Assam, that is, uh, and Arunachal Pradesh, Southeast Tibet. The Atomist region of China also included in this uh, region. The northern Myanmar and western Himalayas covering uh, Kumau, Garhwal, northwest Kashmir, and northern Pakistan. While these divisions are largely artificial, uh, the deep uh, defined card by the <coughs> river that is a Kali Gandhari river between Annapurna and uh, Dwalgiri mountains has been effective dispersal barrier for many species. It is that uh, act as a natural uh, barrier for the endemism in this hotspot. These uh, Himalayan uh, mountains that uh, they are more, uh, they are above five, uh, 500 meters to 8,000 meters above sea level that, uh, in, that results in a diversity of ecosystem 
that ranges uh, from available grasslands and subtropical broadleaf forest uh, along the foothills to the temperate broadleaf forest in the mid hills, uh, mixed conifers and conifer forests in higher hills, and alpine meadows above the tree line. Uh, so there is a diverse uh, pine forest you can see broadleaf forest at the lower lower mountains you can uh, see so this uh, act as a biodiversity region which has a diverse uh, species of plants and animals also like a biodiversity region the himalayan mountain ranges uh, straddles um, uh, transition zone between the paleo arctic and indo malayan realm species from both realms are represented in the hotspot in additional geographical climate and uh, altitudinal variation in this hotspot as well as topographic complexities observed to contribute to the biological diversity of the mountain along this east west and uh, north south uh, axis uh, plant species you can see there are estimated about uh, 10000 plant species in this uh, himalayan hotspot uh, earlier i have said about 3360 3, uh, endemic species have been identified as there is a rule for endism, uh, like if you, uh, if an area it should be uh, identified as hotspot, there should be a minimum 15,000 species uh, that uh, vascular plant species that should be identified in that particular area to declare it as a hotspot. So here, uh, here are more than 3,000 species. So it has been declared as a hotspot. And there are about 71 genera, uh, five plant families are endemic to this region. Terran Teresi, uh, Hemimilidiaci, uh, like uh, Circa Estresi, Butomesi, Statue Teresi. The largest family of flowering plant in this hotspot is uh, Orchidaceae with 7,500 species. Uh, and the large number of orchid, uh, many represented rather young and, uh, endemic species, have recently been deported from the Himalayan hotspot. There is a much higher degree of plant endism uh, observed in the eastern Himalayas. It is also a center for diversity for several widely distributed plant taxa, such as uh, Rio Dendron. Uh, you may have heard about the Rio Dendron belt uh, occurring in India. Uh, if you have to search, just search, search in your Google what is meant by Rio Dendron belt. Uh, you will see the region uh, where the Rio Dendron plants grow in Indian subcontinent. Uh, Primunalaria and uh, Pedicularis, like rhododendrons, are found mostly in this Himalayan region. In Himalayan hotspot, uh, the zone of permanent rock and ice being uh, begin at about 5,000 to 6,000 meters above sea level. And in, in spite of this harsh and uh, di uh, diverse condition, the record of vascular plants occurring at some of the highest elevations on the earth. Uh, cushion plants have been uh, recovered in more than 6,300 meters, like some pteridophytes. While the high altitude uh, plants like mustard family, Ermania himalensis, were found at 6,300 meters above sea level. Uh, there are some uh, traits involved to this biodiversity due to uh, human activities. Uh, the uh, Himalaya has been like little, but it is little spared from uh, human induced biodiversity loss. People have lived in the this Himalayan mountains for like thousands of years. Uh, they uh, they have greater access to this global market has increased recently. Demand for the natural resources in this area increased both immigration from outside. Like such as in uh, Arunachal Pradesh, you can see a uh, majority of movements of people coming from uh, foreign countries to visit this border uh, city region. The uh, border city region uh, actually includes some uh, grasslands, forests also. And the, uh, there is a uh, Grassland system in the uh, Sikkim area, Darjeeling area, that has been uh, uh, deforested for cultivation of uh, tea, uh, tea plantations. Uh, 
Now we'll uh, see uh, the next uh, hotspot that is uh, Indo-Burma hotspot that includes northeastern India uh, except Assam and Andaman. Uh, Andaman group of islands that are Myanmar, Thailand, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, and southern China countries also included in this Indo-Burma hotspot. Uh, this hotspot covers the Indian states are Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Sikkim, and Tripura. Here you can uh, see this. This is the uh, Indo-Burma hotspot that has been uh, the included states. Here is the Bay of Bengal. Here is Bangladesh. And this is the northeastern states. Here you can see this. Uh, these are all northeastern states that comes under this Indo-Burma. And here is the Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the Bay of Bengal that also comes under this Indo-Burma hotspot. The Indo-Burma hotspot uh, that uh, accompanies more than uh, 2 million square kilometers of tropical Asia, Indo-Burma. It is still uh, revealing its biological texture. Six large mammalian species have been discovered in the last 12 years. The large antler munti jack, the anamide munti jack, the gray scant duck, the antamide striped rabbit, the leaf deer, and the saula. These are some of the elements that has been recently discovered in this hotspot. This hotspot also holds remarkable endemism freshwater turtle species most of which are threatened with extinction due to the over-harvesting and excessive habitat. Birds, different birds of species also found in this. There are around more than uh, 1,300 different bird species that are found in this uh, Indo-Burma hotspot. Endemic plant species are more than 7,000. Uh, mammal species are 25 threatened. Uh, Indo-Burma hotspot encompasses about, uh, already I've said, uh, more than 2 lakh square kilometers of area of tropical Asia of the Ganges Brahmaputra lowland. Formerly included in the Himalayan chain and was associated with the foothills in the Nepal, Bhutan, and India. The Indo-Burma hotspot has uh, now been uh, narrowly redefined as the Indo-Chinese uh, sub-region. The hotspot contains the lower Mengkong catchment. It begins in the eastern Bangladesh and then extends across the northeastern India, south of Brahmaputra River to the uh, to nearly all of the Myanmar part, south and western Yunnan province in China, all of the uh, Lao Plain Democratic Republic, Cambodia, Vietnam, a uh, uh, vast majority of the uh, Thailand Thailand region and some peninsular part of the Malaysia. In addition to this, uh, hotspot it uh, also covered lowlands of uh, south, southern China and several offshore islands, such as Hilan Island of South China, Andaman Nicobar Islands of India, it includes in the, this uh, hotspot. This uh, Indo-Burma is characterized by uh, seasonal weather patterns during uh, the northern winter months. Dry cold wind uh, is blown to this uh, stable continent. Asian high pressure system resulting in a dry period under clear sky across much of the south, center, and west of the hotspot. As the continent system weakens in spring, the wind direction reverses and the air masses forming a southwest monsoon pick up moisture from the sea to the southwest or big had abundant rain and this region over the hill of the mountain. You have seen that uh, there is a very uh, high rainfall in the eastern part of India, northeast part of the India that includes, uh, includes Meghalaya, Mizoram, Manipur and all. There are uh, different climatic conditions. Uh, that's why there is wide array uh, variety of ecosystem it is in this hotspot including uh, wet, evergreen, dry, deciduous, mountain forest. There are also patched shrublands, woodlands. Uh, in some coastal areas, scattered 
heat forests are there, in addition to which a variety of distinct localized vegetation forming uh, occur in Burma, including lowland flood plains, swamps, mangroves, and seasonal undated grasslands. Like species uh, diversity and endism observed in this uh, region is uh, plants, there are about uh, 13,500 plant species, 7,000 are endemic. Uh, mammal is about 4, uh, 433 species and 73 are endemic to this region. Birds uh, already have said that uh, more than 1,300 birds are there. 64 are endemic to this region. Uh, reptiles are about 500. Uh, 200 are en endemic to this region. MPBN are around 285 like 150 are endemic to this region. Freshwater fishes are about 1,600 and uh, 1,260. Uh, 553 are endemic to this uh, region. Uh, the plant species with the Indo-Burma hotspot is uneven and is hampered by socio-political division and taxonomic complications. A, conser uh, a conservative estimate of total plant diversity in the hotspot uh, reveals about, already we have discussed that, uh, like 1,300-500 vascular plant species, of which like uh, 7,000, that is more than 50% are endemic. Among the flora of indo burma hotspot are white, arai, orchids, and uh, ginger species. There are more than uh, 1,000 orchid species in Thailand alone. And many tropical hardwood trees include commercial value, Diptoca, uh, Dipterocar species and uh, teak species, that is Tectona grandis. Like indo is the most threatened uh, biodiversity hotspot due to the uh, rate of resources exploitation and habit loss. Uh, only about 5% of the uh, natural habitat uh, remains in a relatively pristine condition and another 10 to 20% of the land is damaged, but ecologically, it is it is functionally in condition. Indo Burma was one of the first places where uh, human development agriculture and and has long history of using fires to clear the uh, land for agriculture and other needs. So here, uh, due to the human exploitation, there is a biodiversity loss. like uh, <clears throat> they are clearing the land for like uh, rubber tree plantation oil plantation of palm trees uh, plantation for the coffee vegetable crops uh, tea in some uh, hilly areas of the northeastern states Okay, like uh, another uh, biodiversity hotspot we'll see uh, in the next lecture. Okay, we'll stop here.